What is going on you guys? It's Extreme here and welcome back to another episode of my Road to Max Prestige. Now, if you've been joining me this past week, you know that I am doing a special week in which I'm going to be talking about all things related to WrestleMania. And this week, I have already talked about my favorite moments, matches, and uh, event, or yeah, which which one of the, the WrestleManias I thought was, in my opinion, the best one. And today I want to talk more about a side event that happens uh, during WrestleMania week, and that is the Hall of Fame. Now, the Hall of Fame is not something that's been around for a very long time. It's been around for about, I'd say, maybe 10 years-ish. And, I mean, it's been around for much longer. The first inductee was Andre the Giant, and he's he, he deserved it. You know, let's, let's be honest. Andre deserved it. But, um... Over the course of the last few years, they've been inducting a bunch of different people. They opened up a celebrities wing, which, oh my God, Mr. T and his mama. Look, I got nothing against somebody having love for their mom. Obviously, I, I, you know, come on. But the man sat for almost, yeah, I'm just going to shut up now. Anyways, um, well, no, I mean, he's doing an induction, his acceptance speech to being inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame and he spent the whole time talking about his mom. Didn't really talk about why he was being inducted. You know, he didn't talk about the event. He didn't really say much. He just spent the whole time talking about his mom. That's just a little, a little awkward, you know? So, however, nothing was as entertaining to watch as Kane coming out shortly after, um, or shortly before he, he was basically hooked off the stage. And uh, Kane comes out afterwards and goes, I, I hated to interrupt Mr. T talking about his mama, but uh, I want to come out here and talk about my daddy. And if you don't get the reference, last year Kane inducted Paul Bear into the Hall of Fame. This year, the the list of inductees is really good. Um, you have, let's see, who do you have being inducted? You have Rikishi. All right, you know, honestly, a lot of people go, Rikishi, why Rikishi? He's been around a really long time. He's had multiple different characters. The man is not just Rikishi. It is his most popular character, but he's been around a lot longer than you think. You know, he deserves it. He truly does. He used to be one half of the Head Shrinkers. Uh, the man's been around a really long time, but uh, he deserves it. Then you have, who else is getting inducted? I actually have to think about this. Larry Zabisco. Larry Zabisco, the living legend Larry Zabisco. If you're not a WCW fan, if you never saw WCW programming or NWA programming, Larry Zabisco, I, to the best of my knowledge, never made an appearance inside of a WWE ring. He never made an appearance. The last few years, he has been associated with WWE, you know, doing work with them and so on and so forth. But he never wrestled for WWE, to the best of my knowledge. And he is the first person, to the best, again, the best of my knowledge, to be inducted into the Hall of Fame who has never competed inside a WWE ring. Now, I honestly don't know the rest of the inductees for this year's Hall of Fame, so I kind of got to do a cheat sheet for a minute. So bear with me as I pull up my cheat sheet. Okay, as I was saying, the list of inductees, I mean, like I already said, we already talked about Kishi and the celebrity wing, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Whatever. Uh, look, I got nothing against, you know, Arnold, but I just, that was so dumb. I don't know why I did that. But no, I just don't see why they're inducting him. He made a one-time appearance for the company to promote a movie. And, uh, I mean, he's done business with them, though. He's, he's, and when I say he's done business, I mean he has, you know, gone out of his way to help the company. You know, he's done uh, promotional stuff, Make-A-Wish, things of that sort. So, you know, I got to give the man his due. I guess from that aspect, he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. But, you know, I don't run the company, so I have no say who goes in. However, I will admit that I am shocked about one inductee on this list, and we'll get to that in a minute. But you also have the Bushwhackers. For those of you that didn't grow up in the 90s, you have no idea who that is, or even in the 80s. Uh, they were a very fun tag team to watch. They were never, in WWE at least, they were never this, like, badass, holy crap, run away. They never gave you that appearance with these guys, but uh, they were definitely fun to watch, and uh, they were always entertaining, and, you know, it was, I'm glad to see them going in. On top of that, though, you have 
Uh, a couple other inductees, one of which I don't even know. All right, I'm gonna be fair. And I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this right. Tats Tatsumi Fujinama, Nami, whatever. I, I can't pronounce his name, I feel so bad for that. I really do. Um, apparently he was in the company a very, very, very long time ago. And if he deserves it, badass, dude. He's one of those guys I just don't know. I don't. I, I have no knowledge of. And that's where that stands, you know. However, there are three other people left to be discussed that are being inducted into this year's Hall of Fame. One of them was just announced. One of them has been known for a while now. And uh, then there is another one that I'll be honest with you. Like I already said, I did not see ever getting inducted. And that's Alondra Blaze. Better known to WCW fans and Monster Truck fans as Medusa. Now, the reason why I'm shocked she's going in, this goes back to the 90s, Attitude Era, WCW versus WWE, WWF at the time, Raw versus Nitro. Alondra Blaze showed up on Monday Nitro, the WCW's brand programming, with the WWE Women's Championship. She then proceeded to throw said championship in the trash on live TV. Ouch. I didn't see that happen live, but I can tell you that probably was the biggest mistake she could have ever made because there's only so many ways you can disrespect a company or uh, a heritage in this business that did it and a lot of people are going to say well it's the women's championship it doesn't matter uh well when you think about some of the people that have held that title over the years yeah it matters and uh it was a big slap in the face to, to them, but more specifically, it was a direct slap in the face to the WWE, and I never thought she'd get in because of it. But Vince has an old saying, never say never. Ta-da! Look who's going in! So, congratulations to her. I mean, I, I'm kind of curious, you know, you hear what she has to say. I'm looking forward to that on Saturday night. I'll be definitely watching that. Um... And then, of course, you have the, the most recent announcement, announced inductee, which is Kevin Nash, better known as Big Daddy Cool Diesel. He's getting inducted. So the entire, with the exception of Triple H, the entire clique is being, has been inducted into the Hall of Fame. The, the, the main, some of the main guys have been inducted in. And that's awesome, dude. Like, Kevin Nash deserves it. A lot of people are going to say, oh, that's... That's Triple H throwing his weight around. No, Kevin Nash deserves it. He he did a lot of amazing things in the business and when he was active. And he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. He does. He truly does. I mean, think about it. Scott Hall went in before him. And no disrespect to Scott Hall, but Scott Hall never achieved the same heights that Kevin Nash did. He went in before him. That means something, and I have a feeling that that might very well have been Kevin throwing weight around saying, you know what, if you want me to go in, I'll go in next year, but you got to put in Scott. I don't know. I guess we'll find out somewhere down the line, but ultimately, it doesn't matter to me. Kevin Nash is going in, but the biggest name going into the Hall of Fame, and it was announced back in January. I've talked about it before. The Macho Man, Randy Savage. Now... I already talked about how Medusa, uh, Alondra Blaze going in was a kind of a shock to me. Macho Man was one I wanted to see go in, but for specific reasons, I never thought I was going to see it. And to see him getting his rightful place in that, you know, prestigious grouping, that's awesome, you know, and I'm glad it's happening. So I can't wait for this Saturday night when the Hall of Fame will be taking place. I can't wait to see the people get inducted. I don't know who's inducting anybody, you know, like I'll be honest with you, I don't know who's inducting who. So that's gonna be fun too. Like I haven't got a clue. Uh for some reason I'm I have this weird assumption that Hulk Hogan is inducting Macho Man. I really hope that's not the case. But um you know 
when you think about Hulk Hogan, Macho Man is the very next name that's going to come out of your mouth if you've been a wrestling fan for any decent amount of time. So I can understand why Hogan's going in. You know, they were synonymous with each other, unfortunately. And uh, the same was with Warrior. You know, when you thought about those characters, those big names, Ultimate Warrior, Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, you know, that's the list right there, dude. Those were some of the best performers in the 80s and early 90s. And like I said, it kind of fits. But I don't know. Maybe we would have got someone else if Macho had been still around. But uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you did enjoy this episode. I hope you guys will be tuning in this Saturday night if you have the WWE Network for the Hall of Fame. I know I will. Until next time, adios. Match was, but I also want to know what your guys' favorite moment was from any WrestleMania that you have seen. So let me know in the comments below if you guys agree with me or if you have a different opinion on what was your favorite moment or what you thought was the best moment from WrestleMania. Now, the next thing I want to get to, of course, is my favorite match. And surprise, it goes right back to WrestleMania 17, TLC 2. Um, TLC 2 was my favorite WrestleMania match. Or, yeah, I'm a little, I'm kind of getting distracted, bear with me. TLC 2 was my favorite WrestleMania match for a variety of different reasons. And uh, this goes back to what I was just talking about, about the whole, you know, I'm about to have a ladder match. I was excited to see what they were going to do. 